Where do you get your ideas? The idea for Moon Over Manifest, really, the, the big answer to that is it just came from a lot of life experience. Uh, I have lived in the same town. I live in Wichita, Kansas. I live in the same neighborhood I grew up in. So place is very important to me. My surroundings, my geography, the, the things that are familiar to me. I came across a quote from Moby Dick that says, it is not down on any map, true places never are. And uh, I always give a disclaimer, I haven't read Moby Dick, I found that quote in a different book, but uh, it really kind of struck a chord and, and kind of got the creative juices flowing and I started thinking, you know, what is a true place? What would a true, my definition of a true place is what I just described, my home, my surroundings, all the memories that are around every corner for, for me. Uh, but then I started thinking about what would a true place be for a young girl who had never lived any place for any length of time, more than a few weeks or months at a time. And I would have to say Abilene just kind of showed up on my doorstep, knocked on that door and said, I'm the one that this story is about. And that was a real gift. What is your writing process? The process for me starts usually with I sit on the floor in my bedroom with my back up against the ottoman of the chair and have a blanket laid out for me to sit on and my dog and a cup of tea and a spiral notebook. <laughs> and uh, if I turn the space heater on, that's bad because I'll fall asleep. But, um, and then I just stare off into space and, you know, usually I've already got a bit of a storyline uh, in my head and I just have to start asking a lot of what-if questions, and that's what the notebook is for. I'll, I'll write out, well, what if this happens, and what if she does this, and what if he uh, thinks this, and um, maybe this happens. And, and so there's just pages and pages of those kinds of questions and musings and notes. The actual writing process for me is probably the most challenging because it's hard for me to take the words off the page once I put them on. So I try to be careful and not just, um, you know, type away just for the sake of getting words on the page. I'm pretty cautious about that. What do you like best about writing? It's just so creative. You know, I love to read. I love a good story. I love to tell one. I love to hear one. Uh, so for me, it's really, it's all about just kind of dreaming and imagining a wonderful story, getting it down on paper, sometimes thinking, you know, am I really going to be able to pull this off? And um, just kind of having the both sides of the brain working at the same time, you know, the craft and the creativity, and I just, I find it fun every day. What advice do you have for young writers? I always tell them, you know, whatever it is you want to do, you do have to work at it, you know? You have to spend the time, put in the, the blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, you know, that's not meant to be a scary thing, because if it's something you're interested in and you're curious about and you love to do, it shouldn't be uh, a, that painful either. So um, I would just encourage them to jump in and do it.